All right, folks, we are here on Tours TV. It is the last day of Tours Nationals. So why not get into a debate so we can leave hating each other? First debate, very first debate to make it hot, the box. To be or not to be? That is the question. To box or not to box? We've seen the box all tournament from teams from squirt all the way up through some pro teams. The excitement, the number one box team. Here they are. <laughs> are you kidding me right now? <laughs> are you seriously <laughs> kidding me right now? The excitement. There you go. Number one. No one's team. better. No, no one does it better. Do it that George Brown himself. George Brown actually oh, yeah. invented the box. Just ask him. <laughs> Not the three-point shot in basketball. He invented the box. Yes, he did, my yes, friend. Yes, he did. You know what? That's trashy because I put this whole thing together and had no idea you brought those. <laughs> no, we got them right out of the box. Cool. cool. The box. Cool. Oh, the <laughs> box. <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, Congratulations, course. guys. Now, make sure you share that mic with Phil. Let's tell everybody how the box works, George. How many championships you win this weekend? Well, we might win one right here. But but listen, that's one. you know what? That's, that's not really the point for the box for me. I think, and I'm being totally honest here, we saw it in the Coast to Coast game. We were in the Bantam semifinal, right? Coast to Coast. RBK 96. To me, it's a situation where RBK 96 cannot skate with coast to coast. So they box it up to try to stay in games. What do you guys think about that? It kills the sport. It's the, the roller hockey is designed for high scoring, fast paced, up tempo. Show your talent. There's no offsides. There's no icing. It's four on four. I watched kids in that championship game on a knee during play. Okay. We played three overtime periods and it, we <clears> got <throat> set back 15 minutes. So is, that, is that the box's fault or the team that's bringing the puck up? Both teams. Both teams. They both sat around. Then why why shouldn't coaches find a way to beat the box? They are ways to beat the box. They're, then then find them. But why, yeah, why why, why get mad at the coach? Because everyone says there are ways to beat the box. Yes, there is ways to beat the box. You're going to interfere with someone. You're going to you're going to set a pick, which is all illegal to do anyway. It's not. There are four guys standing in front of the goaltender. There is no technical term. You stick a guy in front. You put some traffic there. You take bombs from the top. You set a pick. There's only so many things you can do with four guys just standing there. They're, they're not going anywhere. It's hard to do. It, 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 for me, I just truly believe if I've got a team that, for example, my juniors, they played man because they had enough skill, speed, and talent to play man. We played man the whole tournament. We didn't make the championship there either. So it, I don't think it... It depends on whether yeah, you, you play box. You or did not. not make the championship because you were not good enough to make the championship. You didn't make it because you lost three two in overtime. It's not like you got killed not right. doing the box. I'm, I'm just saying that the point that we made was we didn't win championship. That Reebok '96 team could have skated with that team. Yes. They had guys that yes. could play on that but team. If they thought they, if they thought they could not, why not play the box? I understand what you guys are saying. It kills the sport. But as a coach, if I've got parents paying money to come to these events, to come to tours, to try to win a championship, and they're spending thousands of dollars if a whole family comes. Is my job to make sure every fan is having fun as a coach? Is my job to make sure oh, that all no. the fans as, are as having coach, fun? As a to coach, win? you want to win. Obviously, you want to win, but you don't want to win that way. As me as a coach, I don't want to win by sitting back and sitting in a box. That's just no fun for no one. I'm sorry. I want to win any way I can. Uh, and I and I did some of those things. We did a triangle plus one and, and, and a couple of games. It's not like it's not like we didn't do things. I just never would sit there and say, from one of my youth teams, we're gonna box. Right. Like we're gonna play this team and we're gonna box. Like well, no matter what, we my teams never go straight into a box. We have not all tournament. It's a one one two back into a box. No, but you do. You do. Because you guys are all back when they're coming back. You need to have a guy down there low. Who? To make them come. Have you watched my games? Yeah, I have. I watched you. You guys are no, on the other side of the road line. Wrong. Wrong. We have not. We have not done that all tournament. We were 1-1-2 one, one, back into our box. I have not at all done what Reba, RBK did, go straight into a box. And if I did, who cares? It's I'm behind that bench. My job is to try to win. So I'm going to do that if I need to. Haven't done it all tournament, but watch the game before you try to criticize. You know what the box does? It does give teams like that can't skate like Reebok, which which they can't skate, or teams that aren't good enough as a triple-A team to win those type of games with a good goaltender. But like John said, it's terrible for the sport. If you want the sport to grow, we're going to have to invent a rule where you can't, you, can't, you can't sit behind the red line or something like that because the box is just way too boring for everyone. Guys, we all coach here. We all coach. It is our job, if a team is playing box, not to sit back but to attempt to beat it. Yes. We cannot sit there and harp on the other coach for playing the box. Okay, it is our I, job to beat it. Every major sport has done stuff like that, though. The NBA's got the three-second rule. There's different rules that have been put into sports to open things up. In the what do you do, a shot? Okay, then let's suggest, it, suggest something. More excited. What do we do? You have to do something, like Kyle said, about defensive or advancing the puck or some type of rule almost to, to zone people off to where you, you can't stand in one spot. Right. 
Look, like, like you get a delay, you get a warning, and then a delay a game. It's almost like you do when you stand behind your net, don't advance the puck up the rink. If you don't come forward to try to get the other team, then there has to be something set in play. Okay, but because you work so hard all year to come to these things, and I've lost to the box. I lost to you last year at Narch three two to, when you boxed up, oh, yeah. and you have guys, you had guys in your team like Kyle Novak, Jalen Grogman, Dietrich Grilly, Perry. You got guys that one, they don't want to play the box, and two, they're good enough not to play the box. I agree. They are good enough not to play the box, but I don't play the box for those guys. I play the box for my weak links because if we play man, if you play man, one person, one person gets beat, that's a goal. Well, then you do the 1-1-2. One, one, what? It's just, if you go into a Oh, one, you don't one, put that two, kid on the rink. Because when you come back into the zone, you're The kid doesn't man. play. You no, play you're not. You man when it's the full length of the rink because that's when you lose guys. When the guys are stretching the floors, when you lose your guy. Exactly. When they get back into the def- defensive zone, you man up, you're not going to lose your guy. I mean, you're How aren't you going to lose your guy? Because you stand It's still half the rink. It's not that hard. Yes, it is. For some people, it is. But not for But not no, for But not for you. But not for playing AAA. Anyone's playing AAA, okay? I mean, come on, George. That, you have a, seen the teams. No, that's the ticket right there. You go to regionals, you qualify. <coughs> Nobody sits back in a box and, and plays that. Right, yeah, right. I not at a regional because it doesn't matter. But, but, Has anyone seen but, George play hockey? But when you qualify at the regional, you qualify <laughs> to play. You're good enough to play at that rep. level. And nobody sits back in a box at a regional. I watch that Reebok 96 team play all the time. Those kids can fly. They're good. Michael Hull is a great player. Those kids don't want to sit back there and take a knee during overtime and watch right. coast to coast sauce the puck behind their own net. Fans were sleeping. They yeah, two guys, pa- two guys, they booed. Two yeah. guys passed the puck for a minute and a half behind it's, the net, one touching it to each our other. Sport. Our sport's exciting. It's innovative. It's something completely different, and it's killing it. And that's what makes the sport great. And you know what? I'm not going to sit here and disagree with you guys because it is boring for fans. It is, but I guess my only thing as a coach is I want to give my team the best opportunity to win. You know, last year, you know there were guys as a coach that you said, take advantage of that guy on my team. You know, and there's guys like that. And if I have them out, I've got to make sure that I put my team in the best position to win. I mean, we got to the finals because we played that way. You just don't play them. If they can't compete, you don't play them. Then, then maybe those kids play double A. You get exactly. Double a team. You, you, every team here has enough talent. Last year on your Six team, you months. had four to five of the top 1592s that play roller hockey mm-hmm. on your team. And you played the bat. You, go to bat. you go to bat with that. You, play, you go to bat with that. But. You also had the top two ninety. No, okay. First of all, that's first of all has nothing to do with that. The guys on your team, your top five guys, pound for pound, can go match up with any five guys on anybody else's team. They, pr- they proved it at every other tournament. Right. Okay. But that game we're talking about, we won. So why do I go back and now change it? Because you as probably would have beat them five two if you just would have skated. You think that? I think if we played each other ten times, could there be a game that you win five to two? Absolutely. Could there be a game game. you win? No. Could there be four games that you win by a goal? You're talking about winning by three goals. I'm just saying is that Novak, Grogman, and those guys can play with anyone. They play it. They play pro. They play D1. They play. They play juniors with me this this weekend, and they won. They can play with anybody. Dietrich, Grilly, those guys. They you know they can skate. You know what the funny thing is? You're and your goalie right. is good. Like it's not like you had to go like can't, I mean it just I don't understand it. You're totally you're totally right, totally right. But what I'm saying is when we're in, when we're in that huddle at intermission or before the game, when I actually ask the guys what they're more comfortable in, hey, we gotta box it up against this team. Even Novak and Krogman, even them, because maybe because of the teammates they have, they feel safer. My there. '90s boxed my '92s, or they did a, they did a triangle plus one, and I actually had a fallen out with my '90s in one game where I watched them play, and I was just on the bench, and I just gave them a couple of advice. They made their own line changes. That's what they said they wanted to do and whatnot. You know, I said that you guys can skate a little bit with these guys. You got to take some chances to come out of it. And they chose just to stay there. It gave them a chance to win, but at the end of the day, we lost. We lost three to two in overtime. It just guys like John Healy and guys that have skill and can skate and stuff like that. To me, I think it's 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 this knock on the game to have them stand around, you know, and just just do that. Also, I don't think people would want to play for me if I did that if, all the time. Because after a while, it's boring. Box, if your team is playing the box. It also, you're sitting back the whole time. It gives the other team a little bit of advantage because you're, you're going to turn the puck over every time. Well, it's well, all about, it's all about luck. To turn the puck over. If two guys okay. make two good shots from the outside and they snipe 2 nothing, then the box thing is over. Well, like, no matter what, if you, sto- if you don't score the first goal in the box, then it's, you're screwed. Well, well yeah, but you, you work all year. You said your guys work all year, right? So isn't there ways you can find a way to beat the box? I, Do you think there is? 
Do you think you can work? Do I think there's a foolproof plan of things that you do that you're going to beat the box now? Because the four I, I, guys I, I are tight at the I believe there is. And if you come up with it, too. less teams will play it. If a, if a so coach gets in there and finds out how to beat the box and consistently beats the box, we don't have to worry about this. And because no now that coach has found out how to beat the box. So nobody's going to play it as much as they do. Because honestly, Ready? can, can I teach Can I say, teach 10-year-old kids how to beat the box? Absolutely. But you're, you're boxing at the levels of junior platinum, midget platinum, D1, and pro. It's it's not it's not easy to do. I, I, I agree. It's I not agree. easy to do. I mean, the snipers in pro were a much better team than the young A and E team, which is young kids, you know, playing pro. A lot of them for the first time and whatnot. They wound up beating them in a shootout, you know, whatever it is for the extra point or whatnot. But that's the whole thing. Like they box the whole time. It's right. just not. Yeah, it's just. It's just. It's frustrating for the other team. And like you yeah, said, it's good yeah, coaching. It's said. Feels good. <laughs> no good. It could be good coaching, say, but but it's just. You know, so you can come so at me. Far. That's how we're, that's what we're going to do. Easy, this. Rob. We, we all said we want the sport to grow. AEN competed in pro because they played the box. Does that give us another pro team now? Because they said, hey, if we play the system, we can compete with anyone. So now we've got a pro team thinking, hey, we can compete with these guys. We've gained a pro team in the sport, not just for tours, but they think they can play anywhere. And we've gained a pro team in the sport because of the system. They now think they can compete with the snipers, with the mud Well, I think anyone who's over 18 years old, if you know how to skate and you have a decent goalie, you can beat any team in roller hockey. I don't care if you have the roller hockey all-stars from Tours Pro. If you get Jay's Black Eyes team, uh, my junior team that I coach this weekend, and we play a box and we have enough guys who can skate and have a good enough goalie, you can beat C.J. Yoder and the Mudcats easily. Yeah, and, and, and I think one of the things is no matter what, Teams have figured out a way to beat the box, and especially if they're tons more talented. Last year, we were at an event. We went 3-1 and one in pro. We ended up going to our final round-robin game, playing the same box system, getting trounced 8-1, to one, then playing in the quarterfinals the same box system and getting mercied in seven minutes in the first period. Teams can beat the box. And I think, and then after, we, after the first period when we realized we were down, Box was gone, guys. If you begin to beat the box, if you score the first goal on it, Send teams can't sit back. One of the best teams at it is FTB. If they get the first goal, they will slow the whole game down and run the whole clock out if you continue to play a box on them. My theory is if you want to beat the box, score the first goal. And win draws. you got to win draws. You know, Important. keep possession. You know, I just think, I mean, there's, there are ways. There are ways. I think that more, I think the responsibility mm. is on the coaches playing against the box to beat it so teams cannot box anymore. And just keeping your guys ready. You know, guys get, you know, lazy, they get bored, you know, they're, they're not having fun anymore. So, you know, you have to keep them motivated and you have to push them to, you know, to I make agree. things happen. I agree, but I get think we can, zone, we can look, we can look at boring. it both ways. We can look at it both ways. Fans are going to look at it and kids might not want to play the sport because, ah, oh, it's boring. They're probably the box in this. Or we can look at it another way and say, hey, we can compete with anybody. And we've gained a pro team off of it, maybe, and other pro teams that say we can compete. Let's go out and do it. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I see you both know, Pro teams, you can get more pro teams. You can't. Obviously, like the kids who are involved in the sport now, like, and they see the box. You know, they'll always love roller hockey. But for the sake of the sport, if it keeps being box and box, like roller roller hockey has gone down over the past ten years. If we keep playing this boring style like this, I don't think it's going to continue to grow at all. But, but you know, know what the crazy thing is to me. We saw the box more in this tournament than I've ever seen. Honestly, because usually it's not even a topic of conversation. You just know that one individual team plays the box. Now, we see it everywhere. I think every year it goes up more and more yeah, with teams yeah. playing the box. Because they see how successful the other teams are that are playing them. Well, it just gives, you so, it gives your teams a chance to win, no matter what. You know, it, it makes it usually a one, two goal game, and the other teams is still trying to come, and some teams will try to turn it over to you, and that gives you odd man rushes to get more and goals. And I, I think the box Catch is up. dangerous because if you're not as good as them on paper, you can stay in a game, but if you are better than them on paper, it keeps bad teams in games as well. Absolutely. You know, so I think it, I think it reads both ways. But that is our debate on the box, folks. We will come back with the next topic here on Tours TV.